Today we're diving into cold calling for commercial cleaning leads. All right, so welcome back to the channel. I'm Jeremy with Elevate Clients Inc. So we currently generate anywhere from 20 to 30 leads per day from cold calling. And in this video, I'm gonna give you a script and show you real calls that have turned into contracts for our clients. So if you run a commercial cleaning business and you're looking to generate more leads, cold calling can still be one of the most effective ways to reach decision makers. And if you don't wanna do it alone, you can hire my company, Elevate Clients Inc., as we offer cold calling services specifically for commercial cleaning companies. So if you need help, reach out. All right, so let's start off with the big question. You know, just why cold calling? Now, isn't cold calling an old method that people don't respond to anymore? Well, yes and no. While cold calling isn't as flashy as running Facebook ads or sending cold emails, it still offers a major advantage. It gets you directly in front of decision makers. So whether you're targeting offices, medical facilities, or industrial buildings, a quick, confident call can open many doors, right? So not everyone will say yes, but that's a part of the process. You know, it's all a numbers game. The more calls you make, the more chances you get to create deals. And as I said, if it feels overwhelming, just hire us and we can handle it for you. Now to start off, if you're doing this yourself, you're gonna have to decide what industry you're gonna go and target, right? And a good way to do this is to think about what kind of companies have a decent budget? So that might be medical facilities, whether that's dentist office or chiropractors or plastic surgery clinics, right? So you wanna make sure it's a place that has the budget and also needs consistent cleaning. And a great way to build a list is to think about going to online directories, LinkedIn, or even a simple Google search. So another thing you can do is simply just go to a website like Fiverr, type in cold calling list, and then find somebody with good reviews that can do it for you. Or if you need someone to build a lead list for you, just come on over to our website and we'll build you a lead list that you can use for your cold calling. All right, so let's get into the heart of today's video, the actual cold calling script, and then some live calls, right? So having a script doesn't mean you're sounding robotic. It's there to guide the conversation, it's there to keep you on track, but it shouldn't sound like you're just reading off of a piece of paper, right? So here is a simple and effective script that you can start using today. Hi, this is Jeremy. Can I speak to the person in charge of your janitorial services? Once they pass the phone, you know, hey Bob, I'm calling because we specialize in commercial cleaning services and I wanted to see if you'd be open to us coming out and giving you a quote. Now from here, they're gonna either respond positively or they're gonna respond negatively. If they respond positively, all you're gonna do is simply just, you know, maybe ask them some qualifying questions about if they currently have janitorial services, if they currently do it in house, and then just get their email address and schedule a good time for you to come out. Maybe you also wanna ask them about the size of their facility and the services they need, right? So now remember, this is simple, the key is to sound natural and confident, and you're providing a service that these businesses genuinely need, so don't be afraid to reach out. So let me show you a few examples of successful calls that have gone from leads to actual clients. Hey, um, this is Liam. I'm looking to speak with the person in charge of your janitorial service or the manager. Is this he? Uh, yeah, that's me. Yeah, I'm calling from clean we do commercial cleaning janitorial service building maintenance mm -hmm. like for waxing window cleaning and stuff we're hoping to mm -hmm. drop by and give you a free estimate or free walkthrough I'm wondering if you guys are free for us maybe next week or if you have any convenient time yeah that's fine um no, normally i'm here from 7 a.m to 4 p.m monday to, to friday okay. date you will i mean what day he will visit you but you have a good email where we can also send our info prior to the visit yes thank you and so again i'll pass your information to my boss and he'll contact you next week to confirm that this okay, okay. Already. sounds good one clean we do commercial cleaning um event cleanup like post event cleaning services janitorial service we're just hoping mm -hmm. to drop by and give you a free estimate or a free walkthrough one of your students are free maybe next week or any convenient time for you uh, yeah um so one of the one of the tricky things for us with our event schedule is that our cleanings have to happen overnight so not every commercial cleaning service is available is is able to do that because i i have evening events so is your company able to handle cleanings between 12 a.m and 8 a.m yeah of course yeah, it can work amazing and tuesday at one is that possible mm -hmm. okay sure all right, so as you can see, it's not about being pushy. It's about offering value and finding the right timing with each prospect. 
So let's be honest, most calls won't go perfectly. You're going to face many objections, but the good news is that most objections are pretty standard and you can prepare for them. So here are some common ones and how to respond. So objection number one, we already have a cleaning service. Your response, I totally understand, and I'm not here to disrupt that. You know, many of our clients already had a cleaner when we first reached out, but they found that our services could offer a little something extra, whether that's, you know, a more thorough clean or even better pricing. Would you be opposed to us coming out just so we can give you a quote and you have something on hand if it's ever a need? All right, so objection number two is, I'm not interested right now. Your response would be, that's okay. Could I send you some information to keep on file in case things change down the line? What's the best email for you? Or we're happy with our current service. Your response should be, that's great. Out of curiosity, is there any aspect of your cleaning service that you wish was better or different? And now this question, you know, it could go over well, it could not go over well, uh, but we've seen multiple times where somebody just offers up a bit of information about something their current service is lacking. And then we turn that into, you know, us coming out to give them a quote, right? So thing is, you don't want to fear these objections. You just want to prepare for them. And handling objections is all about staying calm, being polite, and showing that you're offering value and not just making a sales pitch. And so the last tip is to follow up. So don't give up after the first call. You know, most businesses won't agree to a service change after one conversation. And that's why follow up is so important. And that's during your cold calling phase. That's also after you do go out, schedule a meeting and do a walkthrough, you still need to follow up with that lead because they may not convert after the first time. So persistence pays off. And the more they hear from you, the more they'll remember you and remember your company when they need cleaning services down the line. So yes, cold calling is a lot of work. And don't forget, if you need us to do it for you, feel free to schedule a call down below. We'll handle the follow. -up. So there you have it. I mean, cold calling is hard, but it can be one of the most effective ways to generate leads for your commercial cleaning business. So, so do the hard work or let us do the hard work for you. Feel free to reach out and we can take care of all of your lead generation needs for your cold calling business. I hope this video was helpful for you and I will see you in the next.